Perhaps you're as forgetful as I am. With a family and a church family, there are lots of details I'm tasked with remembering, and there are times I just drop the ball and forget stuff. It's usually small things in the grand scheme of life, but sometimes it's important stuff, and I have to apologize for my forgetfulness. Well, in the book of Judges in the Bible, the narrator tells us the Israelites had become forgetful, but what they'd forgotten was the most important thing of all. Judges 3, 7 says, The Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord. They forgot the Lord their God and served the Baals and the Asherahs. They forgot the Lord. That's not like forgetting where you put your car keys. God's a pretty big thing to forget. But what does it mean that they forgot the Lord? Did, did they literally forget there was a God? Not exactly. You see, when the terms remember and forget show up in the Bible, it's usually of spiritual significance. For instance, when people pray for God to remember his promises, it's not because they thought God could literally forget what he said he'd do. It was a way of asking God to act on what he knows. In the same way, when it says the Israelites forgot God, it's saying they were no longer acting on what they knew. This is what we might call spiritual amnesia. And it's just as prevalent today. We can go to church, profess our belief in Jesus, but then the way we live on a Tuesday can look like we've all but forgotten him. So let me try and remind you and me. If we put our faith in Christ, we're children of God. We're not only kept safe in his love forever, but he's called us to put his love first in our lives and to take that love to the world. May we never forget it.